And just a helpful hint from the game itself, don't leave your grenade launchers laying around without, you know, putting them away. So, uh, real quick, this is just where you spawn in. This is actually a fairly fun game. Uh, <laughs> you definitely kill some things in it. You see up there, I've been playing for a little bit. This is just a fun little area. Oh, the Abyss Bars is one of the new things. I haven't really looked at some of these things. It's been a little while since I've played this. Okay, dig deep. System errors. Oh, okay. Well, let's see if I can hit... And I suck. Okay. There we go. Oh, <laughs> nothing but net there. Okay. <laughs> As you can hear his language, it's not the most kid-friendly game ever. And yeah, don't worry, I'm just as horrified as you, my little guy dancing here. All right, so enough screwing around in here. Let's go... Ooh, medical. Let's go join and find a mission to play on. Uh, search distance. I really don't care where you are on the planet. I'll play a game with you here. Uh, complexity. That's not too complex. Hazard. That's that that can be an issue. Crystalline caverns. Uh, this one is just starting out, so we'll go do that one. And driller is quite fun. I have fun as an engineer, but I'm gonna go as a gunner here. In other words, I'm going to shoot at you, and it sucks if I shoot at you with this minigun. <laughs> and there's already two gunners. This is going to be the the gunners go mad. Running out of ammo sucks. Yes, quite a lot. All right, here's some basic. Here we are. Welcome to the party, kind of thing. There's a mule. Hello, Molly. Throw some flares out here so we can get some lights. Don't know where all these guys have been yet. Uh, let's see. Hell. See what we can find just laying around. Ah. Okay. See if I can get up this hill without damaging what looks like to be a stairway up. Okay, there's red sugar. That's always a nice little thing. Okay, our pistol. Flamethrower, you know, because nothing's. Ah, never mind. That's our rope for getting across. My bad. It's too far, huh? Okay. Well, when in doubt, get creative. Just cruise around here. Not sure exactly where I'm going, as I did spawn in somebody else's map. Well, they're obviously over here having a good old time mining away at something. So, too steep. Ah, <laughs> well, this fails, build your own stairs, right? Okay. Alright, see if I can catch up with the rest of the guys here.
So far I have not had a chance to really do any mining. Don't know exactly where I'm going here. This is... Well, we'll just run past that. If it shocks me, it shocks me. I'll survive. I'm not going to get too crazy here. Okay, I got one guy just in front of me. And it looks like it's just him and me having a good old time here. Sounds like he's having some real fun. Okay. Some red sugar. Mine this out. This is Bismore. This is one of the unique minerals that you actually get to keep after the end of a mission. It does, you do need it uh, for doing some of your upgrades. Okay, more kites, one of the minerals that's worth money. Uh, let's see, we need to collect more kite, so that's our primary mission. Yep, do have a carrying capacity issue. And let's see. There's the guy I'm with. All right, when you see something like this, it means there is a mineral hidden here. So little spots on the wall, uh, especially the glowing green ones, are usually a good indicator that you want to dig there. Now you're looking for the glow. The glow can be a pain in the hind foot to figure out which way it's coming from. Uh, there we go. Where's the mule? There's the mule. Come here, Molly. Got a little present for you. Always take a moment to drop off your loot as you're going along. It does benefit you long term to not be carrying too much. And when you need to call for supplies, that is a tremendous help. Okay. Uh, jumping blindly into space there would end badly on so many levels. Uh, I am burning through my flares quite a bit faster than what they're respawning. So let's see. Uh, that signals to my partner over there that we've got something to dig. And we'll just dig through here real quick and see if there's anything nice. Let's see. Which way do I need to dig? There we go. Slowly will figure it out, slowly but surely. Maybe. <laughs> your, f your flares, little glow sticks, do burn out after a while. So we'll just trying to figure out where I need to dig through here. This is much easier to dig when you're a driller, but of course, you know. It's a gunner special tonight, so. Let's go see what's down here. Cool. Plenty of gold. Gold's always a good thing. We like gold. I 
heard it. There it is. Take a moment to dump off the loot. It's nice to have something that lights up down here. It doesn't kill you. Usually if it lights up, you're dealing with all sorts of bad in the process. Okay, so that's a good thing to know. The mule is right up here. But where the mule was, there's more kite just down from it. Well, this is one of those. Okay. Go find my buddy, hang out near him. This is about to get spicy. When all else fails, many guns are your friends. Any more coming down this way? Take that for a yes. Hold this grenade for me. Some people just don't know when to quit, and the same can be said for some main sex. Okay, well, we know where that hole is. We just run around up here. Okay, anytime you hear a lot of screeching and whatnot, start looking for these things. Yep, very well may. Shooting it does not help. <laughs> Little trigger happy there, and you're burning through ammo that you otherwise might need. Okay, let's see if I can. Try and jump up there. Much easier to do when you come at it from the right angle. Okay, there we go. Looks like we've got another spot to dig here. Um, let my buddy over there know that. Okay, 
right, dump some extra off there. Working together as a team, always a big plus in these games. It is a it is a huge help to have people who are not necessarily in it for themselves. Uh, in it to win it in this case is working as a team. It's solo just doesn't usually do as well. Whoa, something's shooting at me. Uh, do keep in mind this is a three-dimensional battlefield, so up is a danger, as is down. Uh, there are some cave things in here that will reach out and ruin your day for you if you're not very careful. Come down here. Tell, as I said, tell the other guy what I'm up to. So he kind of knows where to look for me. Having not a lot of luck drilling, digging through this right now. Okay. <laughs> there we go. That would get me through there. And now, don't forget, your actual job is to try and get the Morkai and the secondary of trying to get the fossils. The Morkai is the primary one. Let's see what we can find here. Don't like it when you hear heavy breathing sounds. Yep, there's something down here. Always keep in mind, if you run down a hallway, you might want to, at some point, be able to run back up the hallway <laughs> in a fast manner. Uh, he just called for the mule. Okay, let's see, he's doing that. I'll continue to move down here. All right. Keep in mind, that happens, it slows you down. It's really not a pleasant experience. Ooh, a loot bug. Loot bugs are nice. All the pretties that come raining down. Red sugar, nice benefit there. There they are, where?
Nothing quite says go away like a minigun to the face, right? Do I am going to need to order supplies here in just a second. Let's see if I can get that done. It only restores 50% of your ammo per little arm here. So it is worth my... Okay. Looks like he already mined up to that. That's an excellent thing. This is a cooperative adventure here, although you can really mess up the guys on your team by not being a team player. Take a brief break there. Now, this supply pod is very useful. However, I don't necessarily just want to leave it sitting. I'll leave one arm for him. Uh, there we go. My buddy's sitting there working. Okay. Whoa, nice big cavern of stuff here. straight to this nitra. Nitra is useful. You do get uh, points for it after a mission, but also nitra is what enables you to call for resupplies during the mission, so it's always Okay. There's some more cut. I don't want to hop down just yet. However, we will do this. I have no issue doing this kind of thing. Okay, that would be a positive thing up there if I can get to it. <laughs> and he fell all the way down as I just did. You usually do have to dig your way out of these. That being said, you can hear all the lovely sounds of badness, of things that are not happy that we're here. If I run along this wall, I know I put that one cable down. It's right there. Being able to hear them is half the fun of not knowing where they really are. Uh, looks like my buddy's fighting some. 
However, also sounds like he's got it under control, so pick that up. Secondary. Okay. Call Molly over here. Now, we did see that up there earlier. We'll see if we can get away with calling up this. And let's see. See if we can reach out and touch that. Okay, he's doing exactly what you need to do. Make sure you explore all these little crevices and whatnot. Fights have not been too intense on this one, so it's actually kind of relaxing. It's not to say you don't have some mad, insane minutes of gunfire everywhere, but... There we are. A little bit of friendly competition. He's getting that while I'm coming down here and seeing a very lovely vein of Morkite and what appears to be an easy gem here to go get. Alright. You can see the green glow is getting brighter there. And he has called the mule, which is a good thing. He's got plenty of nitrate. Praetorians, joyful. Those are best fought in wide open spots, not in the middle of tight spots. The Praetorian takes up almost this entire tunnel. And apparently my buddy thinks I'm thinks the same way. Well, that being said, now Praetorians, when they die, leave a nice gas cloud to play with. And you're going to want to run out of those smoke clouds as they will slowly kill you. I believe they're acid clouds in all actuality. Ah, we've had somebody else join into the party. That's cool. Welcome. Ah, hello.
can hurt your allies here, so do be careful when you're aiming. Looks like the Praetorian Swarm is over. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> we are just basically, screw it, fighting our way through. Awesome, you know the way. <laughs> well, apparently gunners are definitely leading the way. So... Uh, we've almost got enough more kite to finish off this map. Don't know about the fossils. And we've got one more coming in. Live Maw, Trevor Corey, and Jajor K. We're just having a grand old time here. There we go. Ooh, this is a very rich place. Let's just go ahead and see what's up here. Mm. Ooh, Bismore. That's always a good find. Don't forget to look up, kiddos, as badness comes from all directions. Oh, that, that's, that's going to be... Okay, in the middle of a fight like this, try not to activate those buttons. Come over here and try and save him. Do run around and save your battle buddies there. They are going to be what keeps you alive in the end. And don't hit the big red glowy button until you're actually ready to hit the big red glowy button. So, let's see. I'll tell the guys if. Personally, I'm looking for a little bit of that red sugar. Let's see if there's anything left up here that any of the guys missed. Don't want to fall all the way down. That would be a rather painful experience. Since they're all doing that, there's a piece of gold. All right. Well, we'll just come down here and start digging, see if anybody else wants to. <laughs> we are we are all gunners, and away we're going. This is this is definitely an interesting round. You get points for the minerals you harvest. However, it is still team and effort. Do keep that in mind as you're going along. This can be quite the challenge when people just go out for themselves. Uh, that being said, some of these maps can separate you pretty easily, even when you don't mean to. Okay, and... Now to hurt those, you have to shoot them in those eyes. Yeah, 
a little hand to hand hand to claw combat. I'm gonna go grab some of this red sugar because yeah, I'm I'm hurting just a little bit. Uh you never felt better, dude? <laughs> you know I need to talk about how your definition of better. Okay, I can hear it. No oh Good. So let's see here. Okay, somebody called Molly. Where is it? Okay, this is nice. It does heal me up. Something's something's beating on me. Okay, now would be a really bad time for somebody to hit the big green button on the big red button on Molly. Uh, with this many gunners, I'm not worried about the swarms that have been showing up. The theory here is you put enough bullets into an enclosed space... Nothing's coming through there. <laughs> Have a breather while you're sprinting back to the drop pod. Four minutes is a lot of time. However, you basically cover the entire map to get back to the drop pod, usually. Okay, those guys are taking care of the airborne threat. No, no, no. Thank you, guys. Those things carry you off, and that is not a good day. Especially when you're trying to race to the drop pod. Now, keep in mind, Molly will climb straight up the size of a cliff. You can't. Okay, we're staying relatively closely bunched. Okay, let me go means somebody usually has gotten owned. Now, Molly, you can't deposit into Molly anymore after you've hit the big red button. However, 
on the side, there are um, spots on the side of the drop pod, and I will... Ah, hi, you're ugly. Okay, we got two minutes yet. There's still plenty of time to get to that drop pod. That drop pod's relatively close. Only 70-some meters. 70-some uh, meters underground can be a very confusing directional. All right. Skip the fanciness. We'll just run straight through here. Uh, drop pod is up there. Molly does show the way. There we can see. Ah! Yikes. Come on, guys. Now, a minute's starting to get tight. However, there's the drop pod. Okay. <laughs> All those fails. Throw grenades. And away we go. No! <laughs> from the jaws of victory. Bye, dude. Uh, once the drop pod starts to lift off, make sure you stay on the drop pod. Ah, it does just count him as surviving? Well, congratulations, dude. I fully expect you to die on that one. <laughs> and we got a nice amount of supply here. Complexity, length. It wasn't terribly hard, but it was fun. So... That is Deep Rock Galactic. Uh, that was actually a significant amount of fun. Uh, the host has ended the session, which is fine. I am going to call an end of it myself here in a minute. Uh, I do encourage you to play this. This is quite a bit of fun. You can upgrade your minerals, upgrade your drone. The drone follows you around if you're attempting to play a single player. Uh, let's see, here's our equipment. And let's see. Ah, they've done one of their updates. They've refunded me all my minerals and said, go ahead and upgrade as you will, which is kind of nice. They do this every once in a while. Uh, I do spend a fair amount on my armor. Let's see. Should we have more damage for breaking? Oh, that's a, that's a good thing. Shielding generous. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do that. Max health increase. Uh, let's. Uh, no, let's make sure I pick the right one there. Reactive armor. There's only one pick there. Violent damage to all enemies. Chance to stun. Temporary invulnerability. Uh. Yeah, we'll go with a shockwave, because, you know, if you're going to go, go out with a bang, right? Frag grenade. Always nice to be able to carry more of those and do more damage. Zipline, what do we got here? We got more ammo. Uh, operational angle. Or greater distance. Um, hmm. Well, I'm getting a greater distance here, because that's my only option, so... Less damage if you fall, reach a higher top speed. Well, let's go with more ammo, because it always seems like I'm running out of zip lines just when I don't need to be running out. Extra flares. Definitely buy that burning time. Make it just a little longer. I need a higher level before I can get into these. Those look kind of nice. Neurotoxin, bonus damage against glyphoids. No aim penalty while moving. Okay. Uh, I have a couple of these already purchased. 
but the uh, detonates creating a radius of damage. <laughs> That's impressive for a pistol. High velocity rounds. Overall damage of weapons increased. Okay, what do we have here? We have more ammo. Uh, floating stability. Okay. Overall damage. Uh, well, you know what? I'm actually going to take more ammo. And then let's look at our minigun. Our very evil kill everything. Nothing says it like massive bullets in the face. Cooling means I can fire longer. Increase the rate of fire. Okay, so the gyro stabilization, when you don't know if you noticed when firing, go a bit all over. Or increased accuracy. Hmm. Ammo bags. Damage. Uh, we'll take am. Armor breaking. Chance to stagger the target. Yeah, it's always kind of nice to stun your targets as they're coming at you. Damage increased when fully stabilized. Spin up time. You don't actually start s shooting until you spin up. Spin down. Well, let's... If I need to shoot something, I need to shoot something sooner rather than later. Burn everything in radius. Every kill cools the gun. Ooh, nice. Rounds fired when the heat moves will burn the target. Ah. Uh. Cooling rate. Rate of fire and faster stabilization. Increased accuracy. Uh. Okay. Faster. Less fall damage. 6% faster speed. We will take that. Okay. Let's just look at some of my other characters here real quick. Alright, we've got... I'm going to have to level my engineer. Oh, that's my scout. My engineer is very high level. Yeah, let's see. Shoot your turrets to make them create an overload shot. Fully automatic. Fully automatic shotgun. Yeah. We'll go fully automatic shotgun. <laughs> Let's see. Quicker deployment. Yes, it's always a good thing for turrets. Okay, what do we got here? We got improved generator. Much the same. Okay, poison is what those Praetorians leave behind is those clouds of yuck that sit there. Um. <laughs> Platform gun. Alright, ammo bag. Reduces fall damage, okay. <laughs> We've overclocked your gun. It fires faster. Don't ask. Just enjoy. And and don't tell management. Okay? Hmm. Max ammo plus 16 or clip size plus 4. We'll go with max ammo on this one. Okay? That's a fair number of platforms for that engineer. There's a gunner. I already went through. I'm going to avoid the scout for right now because... I always have to come back to Scout and think about him. Roll damage. Flamethrowers? Yep. Burn it. Burn it with fire, right? Slowed. More fuel. Sticky flame increase. <laughs> hmm. Range of the fire? Let's see. Duration. Yeah, let's go with that slow, because that's always a nice thing. If you're chasing me and I slow you, then it, my life gets easier. And... Yeah. <laughs> really liked that. Damage radius, yep. Bigger boom. More painful boom. Awesome. Drills. More damage on enemies. Drill faster. More fuel. Uh, it's tough between those two. Let's see what this looks like. Faster cooling. Can you use drill sooner after? Okay. 
Drill faster, yep. Tank pressure, more fuel, your jewels. Okay, more fuel on that one. That's the easy one. And if you want to, if you're to the point where you're drilling to stay alive, you want to drill now. Okay, armor is much the same, except that, you know, now you can walk through fire and not get hurt as badly. Uh, and we will go with the carrying capacity there. Now, on a much harder mission, I would probably actually switch this to either an improved generator or boosted converter. Probably an improved generator. But level 11 driller, I'm not going to take him on one of the tougher ones right away. And let's see, scout, pickaxe. That's an easy one. Flare, you always want more flares, you always want to burn longer. Grenades, yep, more of them. Yep. Okay. More damage. Uh, scouts tend to find themselves out running around <laughs> quite a bit more than everybody else, so I am probably going to go with that on him. Grappling gun, improved recharger. Increased range, increased range, that's a no-brainer. Uh, we will go with an increased range on that one. Flare gun. So, scouts can light up the whole room, literally. And that is a huge advantage of them. Dray rigged boomstick, shotgun. Hmm. More ammo. <laughs> I had to give up some sandwich storage. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, eh. go with the. Oh, it's only two barrels, guys. You want you're going to be reloading this a lot. Less time you spend messing with that, the better. Here's your assault rifle. Accuracy. Faster firing or. Yeah, if I shoot something, I want to die faster. Uh, we will go with the expanded ammo bags, because it always seems like they're running out. Damage, high-capacity magazine, or accuracy. Hmm. Well, you know, we'll add one to the damage there. And I will probably play around with that build to no end. This has been about one of my usual hours. Uh, okay, I'll upgrade the drone another time. What? Unlock mineral trading at the assignment board. Okay. Close. Completion. Nice. Hmm. I will have to come back and play with the assignment board. Employee wardrobe. See what's going on over here. Medical. Medical was locked initially when they first released it out. Times down. Passed out drunk. <laughs> Health insurance evaluation too drunk. Uh huh. Okay, there's the other folks who can join in. Some of this stuff's pretty funny. This can be a lot of fun playing with your. Buddies, empty bay, empty bay, let's wor words of wisdom, okay, launch tutorial, ah, uh. uh.
didn't actually want to do that. I'm going to just exit. Thank you for watching and enjoy your day.